Hi, Neil here from Neil Brown Reviews. Now we've looked up security under the App Store in the Apple iPhone. This is an iPhone 7 Plus. And one of the things we found is the Trend Micro entry. So this is Trend Micro Mobile Security, put out by the Trend Micro people, of course. We'll have a look at it. It's mainly browser safety. So the features it promotes are use the secure browser to visit websites safely, block dangerous websites, disable ad tracking, check website safety and data use, and protect privacy on social media. So we'll install this and have a look at that. Before we go down, we'll have a look at what other features. So 4.4 out of 5 review. However, there is a one star review here, which we'll have a look at. And they actually say that they've had trouble unblocking a website they want to go to. And the response from the developer is really a generic uh, check your system, talks about a scan button concern, and there's, then says thank you for your feedback on Trend Micro for PC. So that developer response seems to be completely out of line with the actual query that the review raised. So it's recently been updated three weeks ago, and they says they've changed parental controls to the name of Content Shield. So we'll get this and we'll have a look at it. I'll let it uh, download now, and then we'll open it and have a look at it. Now we'll let it give a security notification. So welcome screen it says we need to accept the Trend Micro license agreement. So we'll actually see what this is. It takes us to a website. It can't be loaded by Safari. So a bit difficult to agree to an agreement when you can't actually load it. We'll see if we can load it another way. We'll, uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like something that's going to open anywhere, does it? But we'll copy it, see if we can paste it, paste it somewhere. Maybe into Chrome. No, it doesn't really take us anywhere. So, so far we're agreeing to conditions that we can't actually view. Do we want to send them information? So once you join, Mobile Security will send coded data such as device information to Trend Micro. Trend Micro uses this data to improve features and apps as well as marketing support purposes. You can opt out any time from the app. So we'll have a look at their privacy policy, see if that gets us anywhere. So it does give us a privacy policy, if you want to read that. There are the types of information, basically crash data, how do they use it, improve their services, how do they protect it. So they say so they can link it back to an individual person, but that's not the intent. Stored in the United States. Delete smart feedback data every six months. How do we share it? Of course, if and to the extent permissible by law and as required cooperation with the legal process and the law enforcement or other government inquiry. So that means they may provide it for appropriate government purposes or legal purposes. Uh, and I think we'll skip that. So it's got a few features it's going to take us through. Safe surfing, social network privacy, and the content shield, which they said is their new name for parental controls. So look at safe surfing. Features, track my data usually, sign into websites, that's a password manager. Protect my privacy on the internet. We'll see what it says. Let mobile security protect you, show me how. So it then shows a little video of how to set up Safari, has a section on content blockers,
and then gives us mobile security as an option for content blocking. It is going back. It is actually content blocking under the do not track policy. Okay, we'll go back. Check the website I'm using safe. It says we can tap the action button. Look under more. Go to a scan website option. Tap scan website. And then it gives a uh, alert from the mobile security. And then there's a safe surfing browser. So this is an option to turn on open browser at startup to launch safe surfing whenever you open mobile security. So basically this is just a setting you can do within the app. So there are features of the safe surfing. This is how we set up data usage. Lost device protection. So you can set up a Trend Micro account to find this device. You have to have an account. So we'll set up a Trend Micro account. Unable to continue. If the issue persists, please contact Trend Micro and mention error code 980004. All right. Well, can't create an account there. So, so far we've been unable to read the agreement we're, so we're agreeing to and we're unable to set up an account. What happens when we do buy activate? This is the prices. So monthly $3, yearly 25, one year license 25, two year license 40 is 50. So no saving for a two year license saves you having to think about re uh, repaying, I guess. So what do we get? safe surfing, social network privacy, lost device detection, data usage, device access status and trend micro support. Let's see what we can do. We select content shield, have to add a VPN connection so that it does the content filtering through VPN. So allow it to set up a VPN connection. Touch activate that. Now, filtering on the website filter, we've got options of defaults, child, preteen, teen, custom, and under custom, we can set up a key, confirm our key, and we have the options of different types of material to block or otherwise, and presumably this is what the various levels of blocking are available. So we'll set ourselves up as a teen and it shows as it blocks some of the adult material, blocks hacking and proxy avoidance sites, uh, sites that are considered criminal or questionable, things about illegal drug, violence, hate and racism, as far as shopping and entertainment, alcohol, tobacco, and gambling are about, and says unwanted websites. So I'll reset that to teen, and we'll see if we can go to a hacking proxy avoidance site. We'll say we'll go later, seeing we couldn't actually get an account set up. So let's see what we can do. We're now going through a proxy. So we'll start up here. We'll try, why don't we just go to Trend Micro itself, see how that goes, and see what the proxy is like. Ah, so even on the Trend Micro site, it says it's filtering a uh, site off from that. 
a site related to the Trend Micro site. It's interesting. Now, anything else that is my blog? How do you get on block sites at school? That sounds something you might not want a teen to know. So let's read from Instructables, very reputable site. And tells you how to do it. So see if we can find something that is actually blocked. Buy vodka. Vodka buy cheap. Buy cheap online. Dan Murphy's, which is a local alcohol place. Dan Murphy's online. Mishka Blue Vodka. Buy online. Ah, so it did eventually block something when we actually tried to buy the vodka. So, yes, it's done something. That's good. Now let's try the social networking privacy. What can it do here? Remove privacy risks. So we'll sign into Facebook. So I've logged into Facebook with a new account and it's checking the privacy risks. So three concerns. Do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile. So tap the concern. So we'll turn off access to external search machines. Review posts that friends tag you on before they appear on your timeline off. I'll make that I recommend on. And review tags people add to your own post before the tags appear on Facebook. I suppose someone could tag with a pretty stupid tag, so we'll put that on. Now, while we're on the VPN, what we will do is do a speed test. So look for the best server. We'll begin the test. So it's testing a Brisbane server. Ping, 3 milliseconds. That's good for a VPN. Download speed, 60. That's good for a VPN. Upload speed, 32. Also good for a VPN. This is on a Telstra network on a Telstra modem with fiber to the home actually. So thank you for looking at this review of the Trend Micro Mobile Security from the Safe Surfing Social Network Policy and Content Shield features. Bye for now. See you another time. Please click subscribe and click the notification bell so you get advised when we upload new content. Thank you. Subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we release new videos. Visit neilbrownreviews.com for written reviews and info, and also great deals on security and internet software. Cheers for now, from Neil from neilbrownreviews.com. Thank you for listening, and remember to subscribe and click the notification bell.